Is it the end of the road for Trump or not at all? Well, let's deal with these elections first, shall we? Um, the red wave has become a red ripple. Um, and I think, you know, Republicans need to understand and assess why. At the moment, pollsters here are marred in confusion. I think I've got the answer. Oh. America never used to have to have posting, but it was introduced in 2020 during the pandemic. And so the way this election was conducted is very different to 2018. All the evidence is, if you ask people, say university students, to go to the polls on polling day, they don't bother. Sign them up the postal vote, and they all fill in their ballots in front of their friends, and virtue signal they're not going to vote for that nasty man, Mr. Trump. So I have no doubt that the reason it's so close to the Senate race and the governorship, both here in Arizona and across America, is mass early voting funda fundamentally changes election results. It's why the French... OK, all right. So, I mean, it's an interesting one, of course, isn't it? I, I suppose that we've also seen a lot of things like, you know, traditional Republican views being clamped down on campuses, etc. Some people would say, well, I suppose that's democracy. At least they're being given the right to vote. But others are now claiming that maybe the right time is now for Trump to just step aside a little bit and to allow someone like DeSantis to come into the fire. What do you make of all of that? Well, that's next week's debate, isn't it? I mean, in, for example, Pennsylvania, a million people had voted before the public debate between the two Senate candidates. The poor chap, Fetterman, from the Democrats, had a stroke in May. It was clear in the debate that actually he doesn't sadly have the mental faculties to do the job. So you may as well not have candidates and put up robots. DeSantis won because he was a good governor. DeSantis won because lots of people have left New York and gone down to Florida, who are Republican voters. And DeSantis won because he cleaned up the electoral register, he banned ballot harvesting, and is a very impressive guy. Clearly, Donald Trump has got a lot to think about over the course of this weekend. It could be that we're headed for a titanic battle between the two men. Nigel, thank you very much. I mean, this is really important stuff that's going on over there. Just on that one, Nigel, just, just quickly, I mean, cognitive function doesn't really appear to matter too much in American politics. I, you know it a lot better than I do over there, but I balk at my TV screens and my social media feed all the time and just think, actually, sometimes I think, I wonder, the Democrats could just put a pig in a ribbon up and win somehow, couldn't they? I don't really get it, Nigel. No, well, I'm afraid first-past-the-post politics, tribal politics, does that. Hey, you know, how did Gavin Williamson become a cabinet minister? Um, so you do see things like that going on. Uh, but I, you know, I just think mass early postal voting has fundamentally changed American politics, and that is the big takeout from this election.